100 for 100, the podcast for any person that's looking into really getting into watching some movies, me thinks. Uh, if you're not sure what you want to check out, man, I got a list for you. I got a list of 100 films every new movie watcher should watch at least once, if not a couple of times, to try to try to cultivate that taste and find out what you like. We got films of varying genres all over the place, coming from various decades throughout, mostly American, but we do have some foreign in there, uh, cinema. And each movie is accompanied by a 100-word review provided by yours truly, me, Seed, the host of this bit of business, which is how you get the title 100 for 100. So, uh, and it's the first 100 days of the year we're putting these bad boys out. One a day for 100 days in a horrible, thought-out idea by me. So here with number 89. Now, if you remember from yesterday, we talked about number 90, Wizard of Oz. Directed by Victor Fleming. It is a, I mean, it's, what What do you say about Wizard of Oz? Everyone's seen it at least once, right? But in case it's somehow dodged through the cracks of your childhood, go, go watch that. But we're here today to talk about our number 89 spot. And we move up to 1995. And a little joint directed by John Lasseter called Toy Story. Uh, the 100 word review for Toy Story is as such <clears throat> pioneering a new medium of filmmaking that has grown to become a staple in the film industry. Toy story is a fun, lighthearted tale of friendship and loyalty featuring incredible voice work from America's father, Tom Hanks and stalwart Tim Allen. Toy story is a tale of the adventures our toys get into when we're not around to keep them company. Accompanied by an incredible soundtrack helmed by the great Randy Newman. The film evokes a strange nostalgia that forces viewers to think fondly back to their own youths and the toys that kept them company throughout the years. Man, Toy Story. Mm. This is the movie that changed animation. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, This is the movie that ushered in modern animation. Maybe that's a more accurate statement. Uh, I don't know what what can be said about Toy Story that hasn't been said already. Tom Hanks and uh, back then a still sane Tim Allen are the only two actors that could pull this off. Now, it's easy for us to say that now because, you know, they've done it, what, four times now. And you can't think of anybody else who could embody those roles. But I think they nailed that casting down perfectly. And speaking of casting, man, you have a phenomenal supporting cast with uh with Bo Peep with Mr. Potato Head the Piggy Bank uh uh the soldiers man I love those soldiers and this it's a very well-rounded set of toys that Andy has grown up with I'll 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 give Andy's mom that she she knew how to pick them when it came to the toys uh my favorite scene will always be Buzz Lightyear interacting with the group for the first time because that shit is comedy and hilarity abound. And just the denial that he goes through and continually goes through for a good, I'm going to say like three quarters of the film until he finally sees all the rows of Buzz Lightyears and then he goes through his whole existential crisis and all that kind of good stuff. You know, and then the, the the teamwork that him and Woody have to have to pair up to get back to Andy and all that kind of good stuff. It's it's amazing. It's an amazing story. But yeah, uh the buzz light you're trying to hit him with the ray joint and it's just the 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 flashing red light and the sound effect cracks me up. Um the question, what do our toys do when we're not around is a so who someone was smoking something great when they came up with that idea. No sane, sober person comes up with a question like that, but apparently John Lasseter did. And what we got is now a four-film legacy that is pulling our heartstrings uh, and caused the waterworks to jump out of our eyes quite often. Randy Newman's weird old man voice knocking out that banger, you got a friend in me, man. He wrote that shit in a day, and it is considered... <laughs> up there with the classic Disney songs. I think You Got a Friend of Me is an amazing song. And it's just a good a good heartwarming song as well. Toy Story is an amazing, amazing film. And that's why it holds down our 89 spot, man. We're breaking on into the 80s with Toy Story. <laughs> 